Welcome to Keeping Up With Trends. This is Fed Razak, Senior Trading Strategist here at CM Trading. And we're joined with your host, Sergio Davids. Hey, hey. So, in our ongoing series to help people become better traders, I thought today we'd take a look at the oil trade. What it means, how to go about trading oil, and all things energy related. So, I think let's start with the basics. What is oil and why trade it? Okay, so oil is a commodity, which means it's a gradable um, item mm, yeah. that's used for consumption in the mass. Um, and because it's used in the mass, it becomes a very important commodity. Um, it's extracted around the world, obviously, and its yeah. usages are just so many. Okay, people always think of oil just at the pump but it's not yeah. true there's so many different usages for oil uh chemicals petrochemicals um and plastic plastics and even if you take all the cars and you got them to become electric you'd still be using oil because the <laughs> tires on the on the car or yeah, in the yeah. on the airplane is made out of oil yeah, oil. So that is just a tremendous amount. Now, oil goes through, oil goes through a heating process, um, and that's the way it's refined. Um, it has several kind of components. It's either you know liquid or it's gas. It could turn be turned into a gas also. Um, and like I said, its usages are so many. It could be used to power fuel for ships for cargo, yeah. for airplanes, for cars. Airplanes, obviously. entire transport, you know, and logistics network of the entire world is run on uh, oil. But I it's mean, also it's, used yeah. for for products. Like it's used yeah. for nylon, it's used for Teflon, it's used um, as lubricants. Um, you know, there, there's many, many different type of usages for oil. Um, so oil's not going anywhere. The consumption of oil. I was oil about to say, definitely. it's definitely not. Even if some of our supplies might be running out, it's not going anywhere anytime soon, in any case. So, with yeah, that being um, said, why trade oil on the commodities market? Well, just like anything else in life, right? It's a commodity that does move in the markets. Now, it's also very important. If oil is consumed on so many different levels, on so many different categories of items that we consume, then the disruption of any kind of oil will affect the markets. It's, I don't know if you remember, about two years ago, there was a backlog of when cars could be actually ordered. I don't know if you had this in South oh, Africa. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We had, we had the same issue. So this was an international issue. It wasn't just an issue, you know, it was around the world. There was no cars that were available. And it yeah. wasn't because the production of cars wasn't available. It was because the chips that go into the cars were not available. So you had this backlog yeah. of all these cars uh, that couldn't be shipped because they were waiting for parts to be delivered in order to produce the cars that they were about to produce. And there is where you had that issue. Um, and as a result, it affected... Uh, the entire industry. So if oil, which is going to be consumed for many, many different type of usages, gets disrupted in terms of either natural causes, right? There are hurricanes um, in yeah. the Gulf of Mexico that happen almost every year, and they disrupt the uh, passage of oil to Texas, where they get refined, and then they get distributed around the world. Or because there's economic or political reasons in the world that things are being held up. Um, so, and it's a balance because if the price of oil is too high, it right. makes, um, uh, puts some pressure on inflation and prices go higher or vice versa. As we saw what happened in the coronavirus and COVID. Oh yeah, we saw... When, um, the advent of COVID saw prices crash. You know, I've never seen. I don't know. I don't know if you've seen it lower, but what was sub twenty dollars? Yeah, it was at you know, eighteen dollars a barrel. I mean, that's insane. Um, and and then, at one point, yeah. at one point, it even became negative. Um, you know, that's if crazy. that was possible. Um, <laughs> that's that's but absolute it, madness. It must have touched 
for a day or a couple of days below yeah. ten dollars. Um, well, yeah. Well, this this um, you know segues quite nicely into my next question. You know, what affects the price of oil? And if we can just add to that, I mean, we talked about negative, but when it moved into the negative, when you know, uh, 2022, when the start of you know the Russian Russia's invasion of Ukraine, we saw oil spike to I think it was 112, 118 dollars. Yeah, even more than that. Um, it was just it was to yeah. to about 129 dollars. I mean, oil generally, I don't want to say generally, but historically speaking, if we look at a monthly chart of oil. It's traded anywhere as high as $146 and as low as $9. So that's a pretty big gap. And it's yeah. a future it's a future contract. So it has much more leverage to it. Um, which means that if you know uh, you're trading and it goes one dollar, you can make a thousand bucks. Okay. Really simply. Okay. As opposed yeah. to uh, trading a stock or trading something else that you need a much bigger move for it to make a thousand dollars. So the amount, the leverage that you can use in commodities are much higher, and oil being one of them. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of, I mean, it all goes back to supply and demand when you're talking about oil. It's just a very simple uh, configuration of oil. Um, uh, but the choppiness in the market is really uh, the market wanting to provide a more equilibrium price for oil so that uh, goods and services are produced and distributed uh, in a um, balanced way. That's the way I would say it. Cool. I guess, uh, finally, what advice do you have for anyone out there wanting to, you know, diversify their portfolio by trading oil? So oil is an interesting character right now. Um, it's pretty much flatlined over the past, I would say, you know, over the past couple of months, it's been trading between $70 and $80, and it's uh, it's been trading sideways mostly. Um, from, I would say, September to the end of last year, uh, it saw a depression in oil from $94 to $70 something, $68 even. Uh, but I, I do expect oil to continue trading in a somewhat of a range um, and not to be trading with so much volatility. However, when things are disrupted, then there's great opportunities in oil. And it trades technically just like everything else trades technically. So it's really also great for trading oil versus the indices. Uh, Generally speaking, they are correlated just negatively, meaning one goes up, one goes down. Uh, so that's another uh, aspect of oil. Uh, but there are many aspects that really, you know, kind of take oil into consideration. You know, the, I, I saw this really interesting article about these guys that are trading oil. And basically, they look to take satellite images of um, different places around the world where yeah. the ports are shipping the oils from to see if there's an increase or a decrease uh, and thereby would affect the price of oil. So um, <laughs> that's quite clever. <laughs> you know, there, there's some really, everybody has a niche to trade oil. I even saw something, there's a guy called Noah Kagan uh, right. on, a, on a podcast on YouTube and he interviewed a guy who came from South America somewhere and, and, and then ended up in Texas. Uh, and he makes like, he made like sixty million dollars out of trading oil. So yes. there's, you know, there's lots of opportunities for the, for the right niche. You know, if if you find the right niche to be able to trade it, there's money in oil. There's money in oil. Mm -hmm.